Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nirish Kumar Singh and today we are continuing with what we worked on in the previous tutorial. In previous tutorial we understood about creating a task and definitely working on how exactly you can create work items like user stories, task and subtask. But what happens in case in future you want to make any changes to that probably you miss some important information or maybe you want to add something which you could not add while creating it so of course we are talking about editing an issue or issue type which you create as a part of your life cycle within your jira project so today in this tutorial we will see how we can edit an issue or various work item types by navigating within a jira project so let's go and get started with the same. As a part of this tutorial, we will be understanding more about how to edit user stories, how to edit task or subtask. Basically, it stands for how to edit issues in Jira project. To begin with our tutorial, we have to be logged into our project which you want to optimize or customize based on your request to update any kind of changes to your issues. In that case, you can be in any of these windows. You can be in backlogs, you can be in active sprints, or you can even be in issues. At any point of time, you will be allowed to give access to any of the issue items to view the details. The only way to edit a particular issue or any work item type in Jira is to have access to the details of that issue. So for example, if I just click on this, this uh, issue here, it will let me to take me that particular issue type and show me that these are the details. Now you see that by default I have certain options here to modify it. For example, I can attach something. I can link an issue here which might I have forgotten earlier to add. So what's the necessity of editing a particular issue item? First of all, it's not recommended that you quite often change your issues when they are created, be it user stories, epic, or a task. But sometimes there might be certain changes which might be required to be updated, which could be a revision from the customer in terms of the requirement, and similarly, as a directly proportional to that, the test cases or the task may also be updated. So at any point of time, if there is a need to change anything, you may look forward to click or select a particular issue and you can view the details to audit them. For example, if I click on attach, it allows me to attach anything. At the same time, if I wish to add a description for it, I'm allowed to do that. I can just type in the description and continue working and click on save. Similarly, there are more other fields related to a particular issue type which you can edit. At any point of time, you can assign it to somebody else, for example, assign it to me. And if you have labels to add, you want to change the priority, you can change that as well. So there are a lot of details which you find here, and at any point, point of time, you can make a note of that, that editing can happen. During the progress of a particular task item or work item, you can always add a comment whenever you do any progress on that particular task which generally allows the other people or the watchers to know that how exactly uh, the person whom it is assigned to is working on that. So that's one of the way to update your issues. Similarly, if you want, you can also access the same using the issue tab, which is generally for issue management. The issue management allows you to manage your issues throughout the Jira project. And it will list, irrespective of the category, you will find all your issue items or all your work items in the list here. And you can just go ahead and select an issue type which you want to modify. For example, creating indicators for politics news summary. So click on that and you have access to modify them. So you can just do the same similar work. If you want, you can attach something, you can link an issue, add in description, add a comment, or change any other particulars on the right side. So that's how simple editing a task or user story will be. Even if you want, you can continue creating subtasks for any particular issue item. So all you have to do is just make sure that you are in the right issue or right task which you want to modify or update or edit and just make the necessary changes and don't forget to save after making the changes. If you are prompted for a save button, then only you will have the save option. Otherwise, by default, everything is saved automatically. For example, 
If I change a priority here and make it as low, I'm not asked to save anything. It is automatically saved. So now, today we have understood how exactly we can edit an existing task or existing issues in the Jira project. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. We'll be getting back to you with more details on Jira project. Stay tuned for that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.